Hello, this is going to be a video about my PDP 1123, well, 1123 Plus. And here we have, first off, the M8186 1123 Plus processor board. Uh, you'll excuse me for not pulling it out, it's not exactly easy to do with one hand. Then you go on to the memory board which should be one megabyte or 512 kilowords but due to a fault I can only use half of it it throws uh, air parity errors and anything in the upper half of it so I unfortunately can't use the full board it's a clear point QRAM 22 bit board here we have the DHV11 eight line serial, serial unit. DLV11J four line ser serial unit with one port configured as console at 38.4 KBOD. An MSCP encapsulating SCSI controller for the QBUS. And below that we have a DELQA. If it'll focus a 10 megabit network card and the processor is only a dual height board it's not a quad I do have a quad 1123 plus it just has a fault so I can't use that and yes this is in a BA123 chassis which was more commonly used for say a Microvax 2 of which I have a board set over there here we have a uh, a nice 2.19 gigabyte hard drive that I grabbed from an SGI Indigo because I wanted to put a larger drive in the Indigo. And I have that connected up to the SCSI bus and that's what I'm booting RSTSE and RSX11 from. Uh, let's show the back. Here we have, uh, this is the breakout panel for a 23, or not 23, Microvax 2. I is all I had handy. And here's two sets for, uh, well, 16 lines that would connect to, a, I think, DH, uh, I forget the exact model number, but it's a variant of the DHV11, I'm fairly sure. I only have these two connected at the moment because I don't have a 16 line board or a second DHV11 configured or cables to bring up the rest and here is the breakout connection for to connect the VR290 to the VCB02 uh, bitmap graphics system here's a AOI transceiver to connect my 10 base T network which really isn't 10 base T it's a mix of gigabit 10 base T and 100 megabit. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, shall we? Now, I'll be back in a second to power it on. Okay, let's hope this is bright enough. First off, we'll bring up the VT420 terminal. And I want to change the baud rate. Apologies if I have to get rather close to the screen for this. My eyesight isn't very good. Let's fire up the 1123. Is in the online debugger. Um, let's add in the address for the bootstrap on that SCSI controller. Hold on. Really wish I had a tripod and a better camera. It could also be easier for using my left if I uh, use my left hand for this. 
This isn't easy. Hold on. That's a bit close. Oops. Let's boot the quote-unquote partition 2 of the drive, which is running our STSE 10.1. Apologies for the video being shaky, I'm using a phone because I don't have a professional camera. Or well, I do have a camera with a tripod, it's just... Kind of... Well, I'd have no way of actually getting the video off onto YouTube. Oh, three. It's 26. Uh, assume about 2110. I think it is. Start time sharing? Yes, I will start time sharing. And this is a PDP-1123 Plus with only 512 kilobytes of RAM. So it's not going to be the world's fastest machine on the planet. That was a bit of a redundant sentence. And this is networked. I will demonstrate a network login later on. I'm going to have to manually create the lat terminals though because I haven't yet decided to put that in uh, my startup script. I should probably do that. Yes, I will proceed with system startup. And the system in its current configuration only pulls about 150 watts, which really isn't that bad for a system with, I think, a power factor of 60. <laughs> I bet with a more modern power supply, it would pull less power. Obviously, I'm going to kind of want to keep this original because 150 watts isn't exactly obscene. It would also be a bit faster if I wasn't running this new of a version of RSTSE. It was probably it would have probably run better on say my 1144, which doesn't currently work. Once I get that working, I'll upload a video of that. And while I'm typing the lat commands, I'll show the hard drive because that's a bit better than uh. A boring, oh, I don't know, case that a bunch of people show when they set down their camera. <laughs> you get to see a blinking LED on a hard drive. Okay, it is on.
okay, I don't want to attach to a pre-existing job. I want to start a new DCL session. And I am going to create service black Mandy, which is its node name. And this would be the fast if I can type her. If I did this correctly, which I probably did, so I'm going to check the startup config file for any syntax that I forgot. Well, uh, if I can remember the right name of the file, it's start.com and not startup. In the UIC of the 0, 1. Or uh, project programmer number, the actual. I think you I see the RSX regulation. Okay, it doesn't look like I forgot any important syntax. I will restart the video once I'm in a remote terminal.